Uh, <laughs> so, oh, oh, uh, uh, well, I, need, I need to ask him for a number. Ask him for a number. This is so difficult because I can't ask you for a number because you know your number. Can, spit it out. 170. Who's in seat 170? Oh, well, Best Buy, one of our sponsors, has graciously offered you a $100 gift card to Best Buy. Can we run that back to her? Thank you. Okay, so here's the craziness. Here's the, uh, who, by the way, who, by the, I'm going to be apologizing all weekend because it's crazy at Comic-Con. Uh, who, who uh, purchased tickets for the Assassin's, three Cree, uh, Assassin's Creed 3? Thank every single one of you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. For the children. It is for the children. Yeah, you're right. Uh, by the way, uh, well, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But you're right. It is for the children. Uh, but it's also for you. It's also for you. It also, uh, so, so there was a scheduling conflict. We are so, so sorry about that. We had to cancel last minute. The great thing about the people at Assassin's Creed is they said, well, guess what? We believe in the children, and we believe in what you're doing, so we're going to purchase the entire panel and give it to all the fans for free. So this is all from Assassin's Creed for you guys. Exactly. Oh, yes. A uh, couple of ground rules. Is there any flash photography in these panels? No. Very good. Is there any video in these panels? No. Hell no, he said. Good man. And please, please, please abide by that. It's, they're very simple rules. I know you really want to sneak that video or whatever. It's going to be online. It's going to be great video. You can get it there. It'll be way better than whatever the heck you're doing with whatever camera you have. Uh, so, so the long and the short of it was this. I was like, well, I got an hour then, right? We got this paid for panel. Uh, I'll be here, but I don't want it to just be me. I've got my own panel on Sunday. Who's coming to that, by the way? <laughs> Bless your hearts. Thank you very much. Uh, so, so I was like, well, I know I've got a bunch of friends that are like going crazy. They're jumping in and out of different things that they're doing all day, all weekend long at Comic-Con. Who can I possibly wrangle? <laughs> and it was no one. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, no, I, well, <laughs> Adam was just here at the Nathan. He, he, uh, at bombed, he photobombed, he panel bombed Nathan Fillion's panel. Was anybody here for Nathan's panel? God, I love you guys. You're awesome. Huh? You couldn't buy tickets? Well, they, well, he's in demand, sister. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so, but so I started shooting out texts like crazy. This happened like, you know, in a day, by the way, as you well know. And the first person that got back to me was a guy that I've known for years now, who I think is one of not just the sweetest dudes I've ever met, but one of the most talented dudes I've ever met. He was on another show on NBC while we were doing Chuck. And we even shared a night together, and his name is Jason Ritter. So please give Jason Ritter a round of applause. Buddy. I didn't realize I was coming out so soon, and I just put in a lozenge. <laughs> See, you gotta, be, you gotta time lozenges, buddy. I know. It's a, they're, a, they're a slow peel. <laughs> I'll, I'll chew it. Um, did, did, did anybody here watch the event? Were any event fans out here? Oh, as thanks, was guys. I. I'm well, really bummed it's not on the air anymore. <laughs> me, me, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> this, yeah. I'm, I'm chewing it. I'm chewing it. <laughs> um, so, th so then I was like, I was like, okay, well, I got, I got Jason. And buddy, thank you so much for being so gracious with your time. Oh man, this is so much world. fun. Yeah. And and the fans, I've like literally, it's standing room only in the back. Thank you guys for standing. Uh, well, it was free, I guess. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, so then I was like, okay, well, who, who else can I get? And at the last second, one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood. Uh, I'm already out here. <laughs> <laughs> who I have also known, by the way, uh, for years. We, ended, we actually did a con together uh, in England a few years ago. Uh, an hour ago, she's like, yeah, I will totally do that. I, I believe in what you're doing, and I, I like that it's for charity. So Summer Glau said she would show up. So... <laughs> Is Summer's mic working? You want to check? Thank you. Oh, that? Yes. Yes. That is working. So then I was like, wow, this is really turned into a fun mystery panel. <laughs> Zach and surprise guests, parenthetically. Um, 
And then, because Summer at the last second was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be here, and, and she was here, and because right before the mystery panel, Nathan and Adam were just like about to walk out the door, <laughs> I said, well, would you guys mind, I know you, because they're crazy busy, but they had stuff that they had to do. But they put that on hold. So Nathan Fillion and Adam Baldwin. <laughs> are hopefully in the room. I'm about to come out. They, they're not. They might be still at the bar. Are finishing they still at the, the bar? Drink and then they'll come right up. They're not there? <laughs> oh, they'll be here. Yeah, they're coming. Hey, let's pretend, let's pretend I haven't announced them now. Let's pretend, let's pretend. Um, let's freak them out. That'll be fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so, <laughs> it's so much fun, isn't it? Isn't Twitter great, by the way? Twitter's so much fun. So, but even before those guys, because uh, those yahoos, whatever. Um, so a dude that I used to watch uh, on a little show called Party of Five, who I have also gone and met for, and known for a couple of years, who did an awesome show called V, decided he was gonna pop in. So Scott Wolf said he would come and spend some time with us. So, until Yahoo and Numbnuts get in here, this is your mystery panel, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of fun, right? Now, I've explained to these guys that, and you all probably know this, this is your time. There is no moderator. If you ask a stupid question, you may get a stupid answer. You may get no answer at all, um, but ask whatever you want within reason, and go. Uh, this lady right down here, lady, ma'am, miss, girl. Zachary, are you currently the darkest timeline, Zachary Levi, with the good knee? <laughs> <laughs> I like that you brought me into like comic book world there. Um, <laughs> darkest timeline. Uh, depending on how this weekend goes, it could be pretty dark. Uh, actually, no, the weekend's been going pretty, have you guys been enjoying Nerd HQ thus far? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, no, actually, the, the mustache and the goatee are for Thor 2. I, 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 it was official, I get to be Fandral in Thor 2, and I'm really excited about that. And, uh, and you know, dudes and their facial hair, I don't know. You, I'm convinced that if women could grow facial hair, it would be so incredibly artistic, we wouldn't even know what to do with it. You, everybody would look like they came out of the Hunger Games. It'd be the strangest, but it's so weird. You can't just, you know, you don't want to braid this, that's just weird, so. I, I, I do want to. I want to jump in and just say the real reason I came to Comic Con, uh, my first Comic Con a couple of years ago, uh, Zach had this huge burly mountain man beard, and I was so stunned and impressed by it. And I'm trying to grow this thing for a job, and it's like an insult to beards everywhere. And so I'm here in San Diego to buy beard hair from you. <laughs> Name your price. Uh, you know what? You can, and you can just donate to Operation Smile. <laughs> I'll give you my trimmings. Both of you guys. Uh, too late. Too late. No. They don't want you here. They don't want you here anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, you may join us. Nathan Scott. Nathan Summer. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Let him hug it out for a second. Hi, buddy. Hey, so these guys I, I, literally were running out the door, so let's thank them one more time for sticking around. And they, and, and they, they can't stay the whole time, but they're going to give us as much time as they can. Is that cool? Awesome, thanks for being cool. That's your time. <laughs> Still fun, wasn't it? Uh, oh, next question, who's got the mic? Russ, uh, What's USA. What's going on, man, how you doing? Hey. Hey, Zach, you have the coolest friends, man. That's pretty awesome. They're pretty awesome people, <laughs> That's aren't pretty they? pretty awesome. Yeah. So, here's my question, man. This one's for you. You have probably made out with the hottest girls in Chuck 
you know, Jordana Brewster, Kristen Crook, Yvonne Strahovski, and so Nathan on and Fillion. so on. Rachel <laughs> Wilson. Him. Yeah, I even made out with Adam. I did. Wait, wait, wait. I you did. started with girls. Stick with the girls. <laughs> I'm watching you. Hey, go number, Kings. Number go 10. Kings. <laughs> number go 10. Kings. Yeah, hey, go yeah. Kings. Oh, okay, fine. Anyways, out of all the girls that you made out with, who made you the most nervous and why? Can we just pause the live streaming for a second? Um, I'm, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, I'm, I don't know what you said, but I'm sure it was hilarious. Uh, what, I don't, that's a really difficult question to answer uh, for a myriad of reasons. Um, I will say this. Like, when you, and these guys, you guys can speak to this too. I mean, you, we, when you do kissing scenes on screen, it's the most awkward thing in the world. You don't, I mean, you may have just met that person that day. And all of a sudden, you're, you're like, hey, we really like each other. And tongue or no tongue, what do you want to do? Um, <laughs> like, it's really weird, you know? And as the guy, you're kind of in the position to, to ask those things. Like, where's the line? Because some actresses can be very much like, you know, just, just, like, just lips, maybe slightly open lips, but nothing more than that. And some actresses are like, no, look, I'm really about the realism, so let's... And I really love actresses like that. Um, uh, so who was I most nervous about? All of them? I don't know. Uh, obviously, Yvonne and I, you know, we kissed the most. We, we worked the, together the longest, and, uh, and she was a great kisser, and, uh, <laughs> and she's a beautiful girl. I was really blessed that I got to kiss a lot of beautiful women. Uh, so, uh, yes, that's the long answer to your question. Yeah. Who's next? Who's got a, who's got a mic? Uh, first, first of all, Zach, thanks for putting Nerd HQ together. It's real You're awesome. You're very welcome. My pleasure. I was, I was at the Twilight panel last night. I was the guy who asked Ashley Green about her hair. It came out totally wrong. So I want to make amends for it tonight. So uh, for Summer Glau, how do you keep your hair looking great during those action scenes? What do you condition? No, I, I just don't, don't spend very much time on that yacht out there. Because I was like this after. Oh, the TV Guide yacht. Did you go out there yet? Yeah. Have you guys seen that, that yacht that's kind of out there in the marina, the TV Guide yacht? Yeah. You can get seasick even in a harbor. Could you imagine? Oh, it's really cool, though. They got, like, pictures and it all that kind cool. of stuff. Yeah. It was very glamorous. I felt glamorous until my hair turned into a rat's nest. <laughs> Next question. Yes, right here. All right. Uh, my name's Corey, so there are more than a few guys on the stage right now that my girlfriend would leave me for. <laughs> In retaliation, this question is for Summer. <laughs> Ms. Glau. Um, obviously, you had a, a. We saw you guys, uh, or saw you on the Big Bang Theory, where all the guys were trying to pick you up on a train. Do you have any? <laughs> do you have any interesting stories where that may have actually happened, and something you could tell us in a kind of goofy way? I would never give that away. That that stuff is like the the things that happen, uh, the the encounters that happen are very. Precious, so I keep it. I keep it secret, in case I say something really, really stupid too. I, I am. Um, I hope that everyone that I meet in person will keep it secret, as well. I second that. Yeah. Especially when I've been drinking. <laughs> Next question. Uh, so this uh, question's for everyone. Um, I know you guys have done a lot of things. First, actually, thank you for all of this. This is amazing. It's made our Comic Con amazing. And yeah. Summer, you're beautiful. Actually, every, all, all of you are beautiful. <coughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was waiting for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know you guys have done a lot of different characters. Um, if you guys had to pick a character and change something about him or add something to him, what would it be? A character that we've already played? Yeah. On, on any of the TV shows you've guys done or any character, any, anything. If we could change a character that we played. Uh, uh, cha change a trait about a, uh, one of the characters or even add a trait to it. Super, superpowers, something. <laughs> well, that's a given. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Shouldn't every character have a superpower? I would make all my characters taller. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Summer, anything? My characters never have boyfriends. Oh. But they're all kick-ass. Maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. Jason? Um, I, I, would, uh, I would maybe take uh, Sean Walker from the event and um, make him able to uh, force a second season. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Could save the world, but can't <laughs> stay on the show. I would have to say, all the characters I played, if anything, hey, it's Claire, that um, maybe just a little less good looking. I mean, <laughs> just more real. Can't change Not that, though. <laughs> God gave me this face, and there's no changing it now. <laughs> I gotta say, working with you, and working with you, and working with you, and not working with you, and not working with you, I gotta say, never mind. <laughs> if I had a superpower, it would be the Force. Dark side? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dark side. I would choose the force. Or time travel. Oh, I didn't answer that question. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, uh, I do, uh, next question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, I probably, uh, well, I would have made Chuck's flash face far less retarded. I would have done that. Uh, I just looked like I was crapping my pants every time. And it was just a bad choice. <laughs> and it was my choice. It wasn't even forced on me. It wasn't like a rider going, so kind of cross your eyes and wiggle them around like you're constipated. Do that. It was like, I got a great idea. Not such a great idea. Uh, so maybe, yeah, I'd, I'd maybe change that trait. Yeah. Who's next? Right in the back. My question is... If it doesn't work, just shout it. Uh, my question is for Adam. Which character did you like to play the most? Your character on Firefly or John Casey? Careful. Careful. <laughs> Careful. There is only one correct answer. I have money here somewhere, hold on. Nathan, I'm sorry. John Casey made me rich. <laughs> Not really, but it paid a lot better because it was five years, you know. But I say that, that, that Jane, I got to chew the furniture a lot more than I did with, with Casey, so it's a real hard, it's a real toss up. I think people say if I had to fight between the two, uh, who would, who would win, Casey or Jane? Jane, he's younger. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Who's got the mic? Right. Hi, there we go. Hi, this actually is for Nathan. I was just wondering how excited- I'll field this oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how excited were you when you read uh, the script for the season finale of Castle? <laughs> is this me? Okay. I uh, went, uh, we did, uh, the very first season of Cast was kind of short. It was about 13, th it, was, it, was, it was 11 episodes. It was 10 episodes. Our next season was 24 episodes. Our following season was 24 episodes. And then they cut us some slack and they give us a season of 23 episodes. <laughs> typically, typically a season is 22 episodes. And they don't, it, it eats right into your vacation. They don't give you that time back. So when you get to the 23rd episode, after a couple of seasons of 24 episodes, you're going, I can't wait to get out of here. It's not so much about, oh, wait, wait, wait. How am I going to do this? My acting choices. No, it's more like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to uh, Canada, and then I'm going to go to Belize, and then I'm going to, yeah. So um, it's, it's more like uh, the countdown when you're getting out of school. 
then there's the part where you get to make out with a hot girl. <laughs> right? Was I the hot girl in that scenario? <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know what? It's, it, success is a great thing. And it's, it's always nice to, uh, to get to an end of a season uh, because that's how many episodes were ordered and not because she got canceled. <laughs> so a lot of reasons to be grateful right there. Oh. Hi, guys. I uh, just want to thank you all for donating your time. Uh, we're all eternally grateful, I'm sure. Uh, I wanted to ask Adam and Nathan what it was like working together again, and did you guys have a moment where it was, this is old times, this is, this is like being on the set of Firefly. Okay, do you remember that day? Remember the first day? Do you remember? Do you remember the first scene? Yeah. With the coffee and all that? Uh-huh. That was good. Yeah. I was, very, I was very welcomed onto the set, and it was like... I'm just gonna be doing this with coffee, okay? So here's us, here's us waiting. We doing waiting. stuff. They're, they're getting everything ready. They're getting the cameras ready. We're just, they're kind of rolling it. They're doing the countdown. And I go like this. I go. All right. <laughs> Thank you. That was us all the time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's happening again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was good. so easy. Yeah. It's like when you have like a really best friend and you don't see him for a long time, and when you see him again, it's not like you don't know him. You still know him, you just haven't seen him for a long time, so there's no love lost. It, it was like that. It's very, very easy to work with Adam. Yeah, I'm sorry? <laughs> I, I was being signaled to stretch it. Uh, well, right down here. It's Otherwise, very no, it's easy it, it. to yeah, well, see, milk signal. work but see, with Nathan, Adam. The benefit of Nathan is, you know, you know, what? We're leaving. Oh, stop it. But we're, we le gotta, we're yeah, leaving. We gotta go. Yeah, we're leaving. I gotta go. All right. Thanks, Tej. Um, I was going to finish next my question, story Next question, next question. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, thanks to all of you. You're all part of some show or movie that I love, so it's really exciting because I was just working Assassin's Creed, and then I was like, oh, I get to act with a lot of other people. So that's awesome. Um, my question is for Adam. I love Independence Day, and I always feel like your character in that movie is... Who's the kid? Yeah. What? In the uniform, Major Mitchell. Who's the kid? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, Film's funny that way. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I just wanted to know, like, I always feel like he's a, uh, a start for John Casey. Like, he's like a younger John Casey almost. So do you enjoy playing those kind of characters? And did you, like, pull from that to, to be John Casey? There's a benefit to being typecast. <laughs> it's, it's a living. Do you like it, though? Like, do you yeah, enjoy? yeah, yeah. No, I like, the, I like the uniform. I like the firearms. I like yeah. bark. I like I like barking at people. <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah. Love it. Thanks. Next question. Right there in the back. Hello. Hi. Um, I've watched each and every one of you guys, and I've enjoyed your performances. And thanks again for your time here. Um, Summer, Nathan, and Adam. That's us. Ooh. That's you. When are we going to get a Firefly, a, a new Firefly series going on, or a movie, or something? I mean, what can we do to help you get that done? Where was this guy, where was this guy 10 years ago? <laughs> I was there. Oh, you were, yeah. You know what? It's 10 years later, and we're still talking about it. We did that huge panel at Comic-Con. <laughs> what can you do? You're doing it now. That's all I can say. Next, Hi. next question. Hi, how's it going, guys? Hi, Love you all. However, and I promise this wasn't my original question, but 15-year-old me really needs to ask Scott. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yes. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Um. <laughs> well, it's funny because when we, you were talking about kissing beautiful women. Um, when Jennifer came onto the show, I was playing a character much younger than myself, so I was, I think I was 24, and she was actually 16. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer or a judge, but yes. <laughs> so they'd be like, action, and I was looking around like, this is, I can, you should. <laughs> People have signed off on this, this is not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> She was, yes, yeah, she, was, she was amazing. Um, 
She was, uh, she's a lovely girl, and yeah, we had a ball, but it was, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> to catch a predator. Next question, in the back there. Yeah, this question's for Summer. Uh, I have, it's actually a two-part question. Do you like food? Do I like food? Yeah. Do, do you ever eat food? <laughs> no, no, I'm not, do you ever eat food? Do you like food? It's a trap, it's a trap. Do I like it? <laughs> You saw that one coming, didn't you? Food isn't a euphemism, is it? It's not some no. kinky, weird... He went to food? Well, I'm so, okay, let me just jump to the point. Um, can I take you on a date? Next question. <laughs> yes, right here. This question, testing one, two, three. This question for uh, Jason. Um, I really w loved watching uh, your acting and the way your skills and everything progress as watching the event. Um, knowing that you have a, um, a heritage with your father that was, had a lot of comedic uh, acting skills. Do you see yourself, or would you like to be in something in the next project to be more uh, of a comedy, or um, maybe uh, something like that, that type of role? Um, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, oh, thanks. I, um, yeah, I, you know, it's, it's funny. I get super uh, nervous about comedy. I, I like, I feel like I, when I'm with my, my little, my, my friends, <laughs> they're not little. They're, when I'm with my high school friends, we were all little at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I enjoy, um, <laughs> not in every way, just, you know, they're just short. They're just short, short, uh, endowed. Listen, um, no, I, <laughs> so we weren't, I'm, okay. The question is, I, I feel like, you know, for me, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a very private thing. I, when I like make a joke and and someone doesn't laugh, I'm like, f I have like a wave of shame and like heat over my whole body. Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> I appreciate that. But yeah, so you know, I, th I think, you know, I, I, I'm not like averse to it, but uh, you know, a, a lot of the parts that I've gotten have been more dramatic because I, I think when I go in to audition for a comedy, that's when my hands still shake and, you know, I, like, freak out. But I'm not, like, yeah. You're super funny, dude. Thanks, man. I mean, just you explaining how you and your little friends was freaking hysterical. <laughs> and I can attest to him. He's super funny. You should do comedy. Next question. Yes, you, sir. Uh, this is Clark a Kent, apparently? I don't know. Oh. No, anyway, continue. Uh, right. uh, this is really a question for all of you. Um, it's kind of a, a nerd question. Um, this is for all of you again. What exactly defines what a nerd is? And based on your answer, would you consider yourself a nerd? Mm. Adam. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know how many of you saw Zach on The Tonight Show the other night. <laughs> Thank you. But Zach, you explained it very well. It's, you know, what are you nerdy about? You know? Yeah, I mean, I think, well, anybody who uh, knows the nerd machine and knows what I've been trying to do with it, knows my definition, which is that I think everybody's a nerd. I just, I think nerdy just means passionate. I think, so, you know, stereotypically, nerds are the horn rim glasses, pocket protectors. We love technology and video games and comic books, and we come to Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. So, what? So, uh, yeah. and, and love sci fi and fantasy and, and genre, right? But really, what, but, but why, why are you a nerd? Why, why you get that, that term nerd on you is because you're super into that. That's really what it's about. Like, uh, people are giant, Jay Leno, I said it on, on, on Leno, Leno's a car nerd. That guy owns more cars than the entire country of Guam. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's not really a country, it's a province. But the point is, um, so it's really just, I think that's, that's what the definition of nerd is. It's just, what are you, what are you passionate about? And to, to the point where it like defines your character and, and, and who you are. So in my in my life, what I'm what I'm nerdy. You're a gun nerd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nerd. Hey, hold on. I dabble, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, what I'm really most nerdy about is children, my kids, and raising kids, being a parent. Because it's it's Aww, no, because nerd. It's, to me it's it's serious business, and you know you need to know all the ins and outs, and so that's what I pride myself on knowing what's best, because I think I've raised three pretty damn good kids. Nathan, what are you nerdy about? Uh, I grew up, I loved comic books, I loved video games. I love uh, 
daydreaming, fantasizing, <laughs> teleporting, flying, sticking to walls, swinging like Spider-Man. My mother told me when I was young, and it was true. She said, Nathan, you, you are very nerdy. Your advantage is you look mainstream. <laughs> Your mom said that too? Yeah. Jason? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think, um, I think the, the I, I, I agree with what everyone said. I think it's about being passionate about things. Is someone laughing at me? <laughs> you see what you're doing? <laughs> No, wave, I, wave of shame. Well, that, actually, that's another thing. Is like sometimes people laugh, and I'm like, are they laughing with me or at me? I, um, persecution complex. Uh, no, I think that I, I think that um, uh, I, I think that it's about being passionate. But then there's like a there's a certain point where um, I remember there was a period of time where I like was trying to ignore the fact that I was enthusiastic about things. Like when everyone's starting to tr turn into being cool and apathetic in high school and all of a sudden you're like, you guys, you can see what, you see what I just saw? And they're like, dude, relax. And they're like, no, but it was an enemy. And then you get embarrassed for being passionate about something. And then eventually you just stop caring and you just are excited about what you're excited about and you, know, and you don't care what other people think about it. And that's what I love about this whole world. This, this whole Comic-Con, it's like the world, like the world without bullies and like people who think apathy is cool. It's a bunch of people who are excited to be here and excited to talk about um, what we love and uh, I love it. I, I feel very much at home here. That's beautiful. I'd hate to follow that. So I'm I'm nerdy I'm nerdy about video games and comic books and techn uh, mostly technology honestly like again I feel like I've said this stuff so many times but I love technology I love the future I'm also friggin terrified by it it is I think robots I think end of the world I think uh, you know uh, I th <laughs> I mean already like I love Twitter like we we talked about that in the beginning right I love Twitter I love smartphones how many people have an iPhone yeah. right right. All you Androiders are like, <laughs> tisk, tisk. Um, my Hanna Barbera commercial uh, or cartoon. Anyway, uh, so but but I, I look at that and I go, I, I love what iPhone, I love what smartphones have offered us, and we can play games and we can communicate in ways that we never could before. But we also start to lose our ability to communicate with one another. You know, and that's a real, and I really think that there needs to be, I'm all about pushing forward to like really cool stuff and smart TVs. I love that I can talk to my Xbox. I geek out on that hard. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Put all the controllers down. Xbox. Bloop. I'm like, yes, yes. I can wave hands. I can do things. It reads my body. Even when I'm naked. <laughs> I thought I was Which, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try it yeah. once. Uh, anyway, <laughs> point is, uh, I do think there needs to be a responsibility, not just on the people who are making the technology, but on everybody who consumes it, everybody that uses it. Make sure that you're not just emailing or texting your best friends. Make sure you talk to them. Make sure you talk to your kids. You know, kids nowadays are growing up, they don't even know what a book is. They, I see, I see three-year-olds now go to a magazine and they try to swipe it. It's like, oh, no, 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 you manually turn a page, see? <laughs> Analog. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Yes. Oh, yes. So I'm going to, okay. So that's it. Summer. <laughs> Summer, what are you nerdy about? <laughs> nerdy. I totally am. It's like what Jason said. I really, I, I, I don't know, I really relate to that. When I first moved to L.A., I tried to make over my whole, whatever, per, my personality, and it didn't, it didn't work. It just, I think I'm nerdy about pretty much everything. I think I'm most nerdy about gardening. That's awesome. Gardening. I love the hat, the whole thing. <laughs> Scott? Yeah, uh, I, I would have to agree with some of the things that have already been said. You know, an, uh, for me, growing up, a nerd was always somebody who was, like, passionate and, and, and passionate at any expense. It didn't matter, like, what anyone said to them or what, how critical people got. And 
to be honest, as a kid, I did not have the balls to be a nerd. And I was, I just, I was so consumed with like making people like me that I, I used to watch the kids that were like considered nerdy and I would think like, shit, I wish I could do that. I wish I could be more like that. And I find that the older I get, the nerdier I get. And it feels nice. Awesome. Hello, I'm Scott and I'm a nerd. Uh, and I'm into fridge magnets. There, it's out. I like them. There's a casino in Vegas. There's an entire store full of fridge magnets. And I stood in front of it at one point and I was like, fridge magnets. <laughs> and my brother goes, you said that out loud. <laughs> uh, guys, Scott has got to leave us. This is all the time he could give us. So let's give it a, a round of applause. Thank you. Well, please. Thank you, guys. We love you, Scott. I was echoing you. I was echoing you. You didn't have a mic. I was just trying to, I was giving you a voice. I wasn't mocking you. I was mocking with you. Uh, yes, you. Hi. Um, as an actor, if there was, if for anybody, if there was another character sandbox you could play in for one day, like, let's say, if you wanted to be the good wife, or if you wanted to be McSteamy instead of the military soldier, if there's just for one day, Sherlock Holmes, Doctor Who, any character, what would you just play for one day. Rob Stark. I mean, with the boots on. Come on. Anybody? Nobody gets that reference? Good. That was not, that was not PG. Uh, oh, Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Nerd. That's fine. Uh, no. <laughs> Guess you don't know Game of Thrones soon. Do you? Summer, who who would you want to? What did you say about Game of Thrones? You'd oh, I just well, there's a <laughs> all right. Well, there's a sex scene, and uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> by the way, somebody told me once they said they said Game of Thrones should just be called. Uh, what, what, oh, I'm gonna screw this up. Hold on. Oh, they, no, 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 no. It was it was uh, it was uh, boobies with a chance of dragons. <laughs> <laughs> And that's not mine. I'm totally giving that anonymous person credit. I have it was actually a friend of a friend, so it, I, that's not. But I thought it was hysterical. Uh, Rob Stark had this love scene in the last season with this super hot nurse, and they just got down to it, and she didn't even take her boots off. It was like, what? What is it? I mean, literally, I tweeted that night hashtag doing it with the boots on. Like that was just <laughs> couldn't believe it. Anyway, who would you be if you could be anybody? Anybody else's character? Is, well, that's a, such a good question. Now I'm just getting really greedy. I don't know. I can't. I I can't decide. All right, Jason. Um, <clears throat> there's <laughs> there's this uh, there's this video game that's my favorite video game ever, and I would love to play the lead character in it. It's called Shadow of the Colossus, and if I could play, <laughs> if I could be Wander, and I could ride around on my ill-fated horse, not to ruin anything. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Nothing, nothing. And just climb up some giant monsters and slay them. Ooh! That would be great. I would love that. That would be my dream. But until then, I'll just keep playing it over and over and over and over again. Nathan? Sherlock Holmes in the new BBC Sherlock Holmes series. Because <laughs> that guy's a prick and he doesn't care. <laughs> Adam? Uh, Stewie Griffin, of course. <laughs> yes, a little baby bent on world domination, of course. <laughs> he wants to kill his mother. <laughs> and as a father who's a fat man. <laughs> that guy. Time travel, come on. Actually, you know what? Jason made me th think of something that I, I actually would really love to play that is not a character already. Oh, I mean, it's a character in a graphic novel, but it hasn't been done. I, I, I would love to play Yorick in Why the Last Man. If they ever do that, I would love to do that. As, a, like, a, as like a dream role of sorts. Me uh, too. All right, fine, you can have it. <laughs> no, no, we can play, maybe it'll be like when he's happy, it's one of us, when he's we'll do, do like a weird When he's dream, really afraid like, of yeah. being funny in front of other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then I'll be, yeah. then I'll be me. And, uh, <laughs> 
Uh, yes, you, sir, ma'am. Sh let let Shim speak. <laughs> er. I'm Leap Day Williams from Thirty Rock. I don't well, know I'm if sorry, you guys watched Thirty Rock. Say that again. We, we couldn't hear the beginning. Oh, Leap Day Williams from Thirty Rock. I don't know if you uh, saw that episode. It's a pretty funny episode. Oh. So. <laughs> this uh, question is for Zach and Adam. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, 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 the music on Chuck, like I love that music that was chosen on it. Like it had a lot of my favorite bands and also a lot of new bands that I discovered through the show. And I was wondering if you guys had any influence on picking the music or who picked the music for Chuck. I wish. Uh, I, I, have, I have discovered a lot of music from the music that we had on the show. I am not anywhere near as cool or learned in the world of indie rock uh, to, to do that. Um, Alex... I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna screw this up. Alex Katsavas, I think is her last name. Yeah. She was the music supervisor on the OC uh, and uh, has worked with Josh Schwartz on, on a lot of different stuff and ended up doing the music uh, supervision for Chuck as well. And a lot of people actually credit her for being the first person to really utilize television to break independent bands because nobody had really done that before. <coughs> There's a couple of bands that I particularly loved over the years. There's uh, Architecture in Helsinki. They were a really cool band. Um, um, uh, 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 the Naked and the Famous, I really like those guys. And uh, I think The Head and the Heart is the last song ever to be on. Uh, I, it was, I mean, I cried watching it. it was, Adam? There was no Metallica. I, you, you lost me. <laughs> ghost, there was no Ghost. What's that? There's no ghost. No ghost? It's a, it's a band. There's none of that. Yeah. It's a band. It's a band. There was no rat. Yeah. There's no, no six. No system of a down. None no of that. Are you a system of a down fan? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh, right over here. Yes. Hi. Nice shirt. Okay, so this is on a similar note as the other question, but if you could be any other character from your own show, what would it, which one would you be and why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Was that his time? He might have just been using that for, for a funny out, for a funny leaving. Oh, there he is. So your answer, <laughs> so, so your answer is or is not Captain Awesome? No, 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 no. I, I would definitely be uh, <sighs> Vic. I'd be, I'd be Lester. You'd be Lester. I'd be Lester. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he had the gift of gap. The guy could just yap, 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 yap. Yeah. I was a man of few words. Casey was a man of few words. He was the yap, yap guy. I wanted to be the yap, yap guy. We're gonna work that into the next thing we do. Okay. We're gonna let you yap. <laughs> Nathan? Esposito? Because I know I look like a white guy. But on the inside, I'm a hot-blooded Latino. <laughs> um, if I could be another character on the show that I guess what I would do is I would very quickly, um, on, uh, on Parenthood, I would very quickly be Lauren Graham for one second, say yes to my character's marriage proposal, and then go back. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that done. <laughs> um, oh, God, who would I, I mean, honestly, you know, for the first couple seasons, I was so jealous that Yvonne and Adam got to do all the ass kicking, so it, at, at that point, I probably would have said, Adam, or actually maybe Yvonne, because um, why not? Um, but, but you got to do Yvonne. I mean, the, you got to. Do... I mean, Sarah. Wait, Sarah. You know Trouble what I mean. Trouble that you are stirring. You know what I mean. But you got to get like get into this whole spy thing. Whew. Into the. <laughs> Later. Oh, yes. Oh, no, I got to be a spy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Not everything yes. little. 
Yes. <laughs> no, I got. Oh, I got to be. I ultimately got to be a spy. So I got to do. I got to do some of that stuff. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think. I really think that uh, Timothy Dalton uh, was epic as Alexei Volkov. I, I just think, you know, it was such like a, a powerful character and real like. And, and by, it's so much of that, but it, it was the writing, but it was also just him as an actor. And he was so good. And uh, I, I just remember watching him do his thing, being like, wow, that'd be a lot of fun to be that evil and really, you know, Chuck and all that stuff. Very English, you know. And, um, uh, so maybe that, yeah. Summer, anybody from Firefly that you would want to be? Well, or, or Terminator? I went, after, I went after Alan's job first. <laughs> You're next. Whoa, you pointing to me or that guy? You're next. <laughs> you, you do. I think I'd take, I think I'd take it in a new direction, but I'd, I'd wear your outfit, tailored. You'd take the boots, the jacket, the tight pants. The holster. I definitely want the tight pants, yeah. Something those, a little more blousey. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Hi. Hi. All right. Hey. All right. So I don't feel like there are a lot of nerd questions going out there, and just a lot of personal questions. I want to know from all of you, what is your plan for the upcoming zombie apocalypse? That's right. Number one. Do you know when that's going to be, by the way? If, <laughs> I'm just, if you happen to know anything. October, I think it's October. Is it October or somewhere? Yeah, yeah. I'm October? No, I'm thinking that's mid-January 2013 when the food riots start, that sort of thing. <laughs> First things first, ammo up. <laughs> first things first, make f better friends with this man right over here. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I mean, you know, you gotta have you gotta have your shelter, right? That's first and foremost. You gotta have a. Uh, I actually really do think about this stuff a lot. <laughs> it's so sad. I, 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 I literally I lay in, in bed at night sometimes thinking, what would I need? <laughs> what would I need? It could happen. Um, water supply. Wa you need a water supply. Here's the thing. Water supply is very tough. You can get these straws that you can stick it into sewage and drink it, and it'll fir filter out. I'm telling you, this works. You I got a bunch of them in an earthquake supply yeah. uh, survival kit. Uh, you want a crank radio. You want a crank uh, flashlight. You want these straws because you can't carry water. Wait, 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 with go, go back to the go. So when you're sucking, up, you have to because you'd have to because the gag reflex sucking. You'd be surprised what you do when you're thirsty, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know they also they also have these like these like packs. I've, I've seen them. Uh, they have these packs that uh, you you can put it into water and it basically just like absorbs water into the pack and it, it's a little like bladder of uh, of cleaner water. They also make straws where you can suck up uh, uh, sewage and it tastes like sewage. I'm actually yeah, I'm so developing. I would not recommend those. I, I am right now developing a zombie apocalypse product. I think you're all going to be seeing it on shelves pretty soon. <laughs> Powdered water. <laughs> just add water. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, we got time for one more question. We got time for one more question. Yes, you in the Robo Nerdicorn shirt. I love you. Yes, thank you. It's because Nerd, oh. Nerd HQ is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, my question is actually kind of a survivalist one, too. But you were mentioning how people are getting really dependent on technology. So I was wondering if, let's say, one day you just were thrown into the middle of, like, Alaska or something like that with no cell phone or computer for a week, do you think that you'd be able to just camp out and survive in the woods? What time of year? Huh? What time of year is it? Is it January, beginning, <laughs> end? Is it summer? Is it August? Yeah, Alaska in January when it's 40 below. No. We'll, we do, we'll, we... we'll at least do summer and try to make it a little easier. Is it early summer when the grizzlies are coming out and they're hungry? <laughs> I got to know these things. You do. The, okay. devil's, the, the devil week, is in the details. You gotta... The week before Memorial Day. You know how you tell the difference between a brown bear and a grizzly bear? You climb a tree. If the bear climbs the tree and kills you, it's a brown bear. If the bear knocks the tree down and kills you, it's a grizzly. <laughs> See, this is why I bring him. This is why. Uh, what, one more question, one more question. Yes. All right. 
If you could say what any of your weaknesses are or strengths in your personal life and or your career, what would they be? One more time? Your weaknesses and strengths in your personal and career life. What are they? For personal life and professional life. Weaknesses and strengths. Anybody want to take this one? This is, this is very, we're very, very vulnerable. We're very vulnerable up here. Um, one of my great weaknesses is um, I tried, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> so I try to make every single person, uh, you know, like me and do, do you know, and it's a, it's a weakness because I end up not, giving my close friends, uh, um, you know, enough, enough, enough. time. Yeah, yeah and uh, that's what I would like to do. So I, yeah, weakness is I, I spread myself a little. But do you find, do you find that that, because I, not to just uh, jump on your answer, but I literally, that, that it, bless you. Um, but I, I find myself to, and I've actually talked to my friends about this before, I feel like I, that's the exact thing that I do, and that, that's your strength and your weakness. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, it is. It is a little bit of both. And yeah, sometimes it can be awesome. You please someone, and you didn't take anything away from yourself. You're like, oh. Yeah. But yeah, the, then there's some times where you like, you know, you know, some 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 people are just aren't gonna like you, and that makes me get obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? Why? Oh, what's yeah. the? What's the? What did I do? <laughs> did yeah. I do something? So um, that, yeah. So I I that kind of stuff. I I bend over backwards. I've chased people down in the streets of Los Angeles. Uh, I, I, had, I had this lady that was, I was totally driving the speed limit, everything I was doing, everything I was supposed to be doing, and this lady was flashing her brights behind me like crazy. There was no, she couldn't get around me because there was only one lane. Uh, and, and, uh, and we finally get to a place where she can pass me, and, she, and she's, <laughs> she's this little Mini Cooper. And she goes by, she honks her horn, and she flips me the bird, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. So of course. Lost highway. I, <laughs> I followed her for about 10 miles, and, <laughs> and I flashed my brights, trying to say, what's that? Okay. <laughs> How do I get out of this one? Uh, don't get any ideas, lady. Uh, but no, but speaking of what you're saying, I, I, it drives me crazy when I feel like I, someone's upset with me or I've offended someone and I don't know what that is it, it, to, to the nth degree. And I, and, I, and I finally got to a place where we could be next to each other and I'm, and I'm, and I'm not yelling, I roll my window down and I'm just going, excuse me ma'am, yeah hi, you were flashing your lights and you flipped me off on fountain, I'm just wondering uh, what, what exactly did I do? And she's just, and she's not looking and she's not looking and she's not looking and she's not looking and I'm like, well I'm not going away until you tell me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I, I'd say that's a weakness. I, uh, I, did that, I had a thing like that, too, where I, I pulled into a parking spot, and this woman pulled up right behind me, and she went, <clears throat> and, and I, I, like, it freaked me out, and I saw her park down the street that way. And so I just, like, went over, and I was like, hi, did, did you want that spot, or, like, was that your, or, like, did I, and then her friend was like, oh, no, uh, you know, like. You don't want any trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then her friend came up uh, and apologized to me, and she was like, no, I didn't flip you off. I, I just was frustrated. I was trying to look for a space, but no, it was fine. And we, like, became friends, and I was like, cool. <laughs> I mean, we didn't become friends, but I, I, that, like, pit in my stomach went away. It does. It takes that away. Yeah, it takes it away. <laughs> just to confront a stranger. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> always do that. Always do that. Especially when they're armed. It's always <laughs> yeah. uh, Nathan, oh, we got it. We got it. We're, we're wrapping We're wrapping it up. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Was the, free, was the free mystery panel fun? Yeah. Let's have a very warm round of applause for Summer Glau, for Jason Ritter, for Nathan Fillion, for Adam Baldwin, and for Ryan McPartland.
Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much. Thank you. I hope to see you. Oh, and you're all getting up and you're going to exit onto 6th Street if you don't mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope to see you more this weekend at Nerd HQ. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>